and welcome back everyone to Night Some Developments and this is actually part 12 of my 2025 FPS tutorial series and in this video we're going to go over a customized loadout menu for our FPS game basically when your character starts the game they get shown this amazing window with two of their loadouts that they are now able to customize so for example if I wanted to customize loadout one I would go ahead and click customize and then I would select the weapon I want to customize. So for example, I'd want to change, instead of the Glock, I'd want to have a Beretta. I would select the weapon, I would click change, and then I would select the Beretta, and that would save in my loadout. So now if I go ahead and click confirm, as you can see, it's saved here. And this will save, so it won't disappear once you click off of it. So it actually saves in the game settings. And then if you go ahead and click select, as you can see, the character will spawn in a rifle and a Beretta, just like we customized in our settings. And you are able to completely customize this simple system. It is super easy to use. And I give you guys all of the code, all of the files. So super cool and easy tutorial, which was inspired by Xerdov. So go ahead and subscribe to his YouTube channel as well. As well as thank you so much to my channel supporters who either purchase um, premium discord to access all of my game files so they can just download and enjoy the project without having to follow the tutorials or people who do generous super things underneath my videos as well as thank you so much to my moderators for helping my channel and yeah let's go ahead and get into the video as you guys remember from my part 10 of the fps tutorial series we made this simple menu and if you for some reason have it disabled or set invisible it's going to be in your started gui under menu you either enable it here or set it to visible right here okay now that you made sure you actually have this from part 10 i want to quickly mention something very important literally yesterday roblox studio released this new updated version of it and i want you guys to quickly add this tool click this little plus icon right here and type view and then in this view tab you're going to um, right click here at tools and and in this search bar type in show ui and just go ahead and enable this basically what this does is you have this ui button so for example when you finish your menu or you just don't want it to be visible when you edit stuff you just click this button here and it would disappear and would set it to gray right here but when you play the game, like it will still load and everything. So this is just for developing. Okay, now that we're done with this, let's go ahead and actually get into creating a customizable menu. So let's first of all, get rid of this old one. And you can either just go ahead and delete it. Or what I would recommend, go into workspace, create a folder and name it something like old UI or something. And I'm only doing this just in case, for example, I ever want to go back or I get something wrong and lose my progress. I will always have this working menu. You could always download it from my Discord, but I just like doing it this way. So take the menu, drag it into old UI, and that would just cause it to disappear from here. Now what I want you to do is go click the link in the description below this video and go to my Discord server. Under FPS 2025, part 12, custom loadouts, you should see a couple of folders, a script, and this image. I only put this image here just in case yours doesn't load, so you're able to download it and upload it for yourself. Okay, so go ahead and click download on three of these files. Go back to your game, open up your folder, and you should see three of those files that you just downloaded. And image, if you did download it, you don't have to, but here's the three files. So what I want you to do is go ahead and first of all, let's do the custom menus. Go ahead, drag it into your game. You should see this blue menu appear right here. Go ahead and drag it into starter GUI. And you should see the image. It should work for you. If it doesn't, what I want you to do is open up the menu under, I think this is the customized one. Actually, no, this is the loadout one. So in the loadout and the customize for both, you would just find this image label here. And you would just upload the image from the Discord server here. But it should show up for you. So basically, let's quickly go over what you just imported. 
this is going to be our simple custom menu. There's actually two in here. So let's quickly just compare the two. So if I set this one to visible, where is this? Okay, visible. And then um, this one to invisible. You're going to have two menus, right? First, right now we're looking at the customize menu. This is going to be the menu for Lora customization, basically. When you want to customize guns, you'll have your primary, secondary, melee, and throwable. And then here's going to be your changer and then attachments changer. And then here's going to be a simple scroll window where all of your different guns are going to appear. And then here's the confirm button. I will go over this a lot more uh, when I actually complete the tutorial, like at the end of the video, because you needed to actually work to kind of explain it. And then um, the actual um loadout menu is now looking like this so you have loadout one loadout two and then it's going to display what you have selected for each loadout here's the customize button and select now pay attention right now please pay attention make sure that before you actually start your games before you play that the loadout menu is set to visible and the customize menu is set to invisible uh, this is just so that this menu spawns in first and then you can actually edit stuff okay now that we're done with the menus we're going to open up the files once again and we're going to do the gui weapon selection now take this file drag it into your game and you should see this simple gui folder appear right here what i want you to do is take it and put it into the replicated storage basically this is just a um weapon selection text button with a script basically for every gun that you have or going to select it's going to use this script here to create a button with the name of the weapon so basically in your little like scroll window from the other um from the other menu the customize menu is going to just show every single weapon you have and again i'll explain this better later on so now that this is in your applicated storage, we're going to go to file once again. And now we're going to go to um, module folders. Go ahead, drag it in. And you should see four folders appear. It should say um, primary, secondary, throwable, and melee. So what I want you to do is you can actually close your files now. Take these four folders and drag them into the modules, into the modules folder with all of your weapon scripts. And now it's pretty self-explanatory. Just take all of the primaries, so like the rifles. And for me, it's going to be this HK and then the Troy Defense. Put this into primary. And then the Beretta and the, the Glock are secondaries. So basically, you would just sort your guns. And we need this because, um, well, we have the primaries and the secondaries. And when we use the customized list, we want only the primary guns to shop for primary selection and then all, only the secondaries for the secondary. Now that you're done with all of your files that you imported, I want you to go to your framework client and I would save this script with in like using the same pretty much method as like the old UI. So just pull into like an old folder and disable it just to save it. Um, just so that if you did change anything, you don't lose your progress. But what I want you to do is, this is going to be the same process as like my last three or four videos. If you edited any of these names, so whatever guns you're using, remember those because you're going to have to import them later. So go to the Discord server, expand the client code here, go ahead and select the whole thing. Make sure to not miss any lines or not select this by accident. So just select all the script, go ahead, copy that, go back to your game. Take your old one, make sure you actually delete all of the lines and don't leave anything behind. So go ahead, take your old script, select it all, delete, and then just paste in the new one. As you can see, it's um, 723 lines actually, so it's pretty long. Now, this is the important part that some of you miss and your stuff doesn't work. Go to your loadout, first of all, that's on lines 46 through like 67. Make sure that your actual view models, right, your guns, 
make sure you have the names set properly so if you use guns that are not like mine make sure you swap their names and make sure you don't mess up like put extra spaces or mess up the capitals or something so make sure you just put your new names into your inventory and then wherever the bobbing is so that's like let me find it bobbing is um right here lines 534 through like 543 what i want you to do is for bobbing if your bobbing still doesn't work or you're just using different values than me make sure that in your i think it's a starter player actually yeah in your character script here you you see this it says match your walk speed and run speed make sure these values right here walk speed of 17 and then run speed of 30 match your client code right here 17 and 30 or whatever it is that you want and then very important if you actually click the starter player folder if you scroll down you'll find it right here as well character walk speed make sure the walk speed actually matches your walk speed because if it doesn't your bobbing won't like even start working or if you have like a custom character you might also face this issue so make sure those values match and then your guns match so once you made sure that you actually adjusted the script to your guns and everything this will already function but i do want to um show you guys as you can see when i play i will get the loadout i want to fix one quick thing that's very important before we actually continue you see this like weird blue bar up top that looks really weird actually one of my moderators still a child actually gave me a solution to this if you go to your if you go to your starter gui and find your actual menu if you scroll down right here you should see ignore uh i'm not sure what that says gwilly's net whatever turn this on because now when you play as you can see it will just ignore that line and then it will actually give you the full screen menu okay so here's how you use it you have your loadout one and loadout two that were set in code so whatever you had like right here your loadout one and two this is your default loadouts right you could either click this one go select and it will just play the game or you can select this one now let's say you want a custom loadout here's how you customize let's say i want in my first loadout instead of this glock i want the beretta and these are the guns that you have made so you do have to have um at least four view models for this and you probably do because we're so far in the series so let's say i want to edit my first loadout i would click customize and as you can see it says no weapon yet selected so what do i want to change right i want to have a beretta m9 instead of this glock for example so i'd click the glock and as you can see this is selected and we will add attachments later but for example i want to change the secondary for loadout one so i'll go click change and then as you can see right here i have a scrolling menu where if you have like 20 guns you'll obviously need to scroll to find more but here are all of my secondaries and these are the secondaries that are in the secondary folder here so make sure you do that let's say i want instead of the glock i want to select the beretta so i'll click the beretta as you can see beretta appears right here and it appears right here now if i click confirm as you can see now my secondary says beretta in loadout one and i could leave and come back to it it will save here now if i click select my character will just reset and then if i pull out my secondary as you can see it's a beretta so my primary is this and my secondary is this right cool now if i go ahead and respawn take a second now let's say for example i want to have i want to customize primary i want it to be the mp7 and then the secondary i want to be the glock so i just change those click confirm select boom now my primary is this and my secondary is a glock so that system works perfectly and you could obviously customize it to however you want it to be you can literally change it to look however you want you could disable my image if you don't like it so you could go to like here go to image and then just set it invisible and then here's your actual like the base of the menu you could customize it however you want 
but yeah basically that's our simple system if you like this tutorial please go ahead and like and subscribe and then comment down below what i should do next which will probably be um third person like the server side animations for reloads shooting and equipping so yeah go ahead like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one